Broadcasting live worldwide. 98.7 Red Dirt Rebel, Oklahoma's home for Red Dirt. Another exciting interview with Zach Neal today here at True Grid at Noon. And uh, we're going to be talking about pretty much what he's going to be doing for the year, debuting all the pretty horses, and a whole lot more. And it's going to be brought to you by the Billingsley family of dealerships. Find one near you today at BillingsleyUSA.com, celebrating 60 years of the Billingsley Way standard of excellence before, during, and after this sale. And it's their one-stop shop. You can find an array of inventory. Just check it out, BillingsleyUSA.com. DCF Concerts, your Oklahoma City, Tulsa, and even some parts of Kansas. They have venues to provide a plethora of entertainment for you and your family. Check it out, dcfconcerts.com. Find a venue near you and listen right here to True Grid at Noon for your opportunities to text and win great, amazing tickets to amazing events. And speaking of Oklahoma City, why not stay with my friend Dean Johnson and his talented staff at the Residence Inn by Marriott, OKC South at 1111 East I-240 Service Road. Book your stay today at Marriott.com slash OKCRI. Hey, Zach, thank you for taking the time to talk to me today. I'm excited for this interview and uh, just start out talking about your musical journey thus far and how we got to this point. Hey, this is Zach Neal. <laughs> well, basically, I, uh, I moved to Nashville several years ago and, and spent some time doing the Nashville thing and uh, just couldn't really ever get anything going. I, everywhere we went, was told it was too country. Wow. And yeah. Go and figure. Thought, well, You're in. Go yeah. figure. Move to Nashville and be too country. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's like, I thought that's what made Nashville Nashville. Okay. I digress. Well, Continue. <laughs> well, you know, I, and, and you know what? It, it, it is a great town. There's so much talent, mm-hmm. so many wonderful people, but, uh, it, it, you know, it just, after a while, it became clear that maybe that wasn't going to be the path forward for me. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. so a few years ago, uh, we put our first single out the Texas radio. Uh, I actually had a, a promoter reach out to me and talk about maybe promoting that song and for that first single which was called when she drinks whiskey mm-hmm. and my timing was fantastic because we put it out and about three weeks later covid shut everybody down and uh and uh, thankfully the song still managed to do well at radio which mm-hmm. i'm very grateful for so we said okay uh let's see let's put another single out and we started uh touring a lot more heavily in texas but you know that led to us winning the texas country music association male artist of the year this yes past sir fall. yes sir i was there and and i and honestly I, I wasn't really prepared for that it was pretty surprising but very grateful so we uh we spent a lot of our time on the road a lot of time in texas uh we're actually going to be uh i guess here in about well, about two months i guess we're going to be up in tulsa tulsa oh, area oh good good uh, uh yeah, we're going to be up there in for a couple nights, and I think we're opening for Tracy Bird one of those nights. So that'll be cool. And, uh, and yeah, mostly Texas, Oklahoma. But we get out Colorado, Wyoming, you know, Montana, we, we, Kansas. We get out that way, too. Okay. Uh, when we can. Well, I'll tell you one thing. The, the Texas country thing is definitely, uh, you're at home right there. Um, and here at the Rebel, the one thing I wanted to accomplish, Zach, uh, and I'm not trying to take from you at all, but you fit right into the dialogue of, you know, just get country, feel good music, okay? And thank you for what you do. And we're going to spin that new single, All the Pretty Horses, here in just a little bit. Um, congratulations on getting an opening gig with uh, Tracy Bird. He's a real cool cat. I like that guy. He's really good. Man, I... You know, I, t- I tell you what, I, you know, I, I grew up, you know, during that, that era when he was having all those hits. And, mm-hmm. uh, so, you know, I was a big fan, of course. I think my sister's wedding, of course, like most weddings, uh, Keeper of the Stars was their, <laughs> was their song. So I had to learn that, you know, and sing that for her wedding. And mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. I'm a big Tracy fan for sure. Oh, yeah. Well, one of my favorite Tracy songs, since we're talking about them real quick. Hey, Tracy, call me up. We'd like to do an interview one day. Uh, <laughs> Before I Die. I love that song. It's off the uh, yes. uh, All American Texan album that's out currently, wherever music is sold to stream. And he did not tell me to say that. Just saying. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but I just gave away trade secret right there, Zach. So that's between us now and whoever's listening. <laughs> 
Yeah. He, he has so many great songs, you know, so many. Yeah, and you're right in there, buddy. You're right in there. So uh, congratulations, kudos to you. So speaking about that, you kind of answered two questions at once, which I think is amazing. You talked a little bit about where you're going to be heading, and you also talked about the background. Now, do we have any more songs in the can that you're going to be releasing this year through spring and, you know, the rest of the year and maybe even rolling into 24? That is actually a work in progress right now. We have got uh, several songs that we are going to be heading into the studio here uh, in about three three or four weeks, I guess it is. Uh, we're heading in, and we're going to be cutting those, and I'm really excited about them. We got one just straight up good old honky tonker. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. You know, we got we got one of those, and we got another one that the band is really going to be able to cut loose and uh, you know, <laughs> uh, do, some, do some cool picking on, you know, which is going to be, it's just going to be a lot of fun. And then, of course, we got a good love song in there because you know you gotta you gotta have one of those now and then. Yeah, yeah, you gotta have the 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 slow two step. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yeah. So, hey, I don't want people to wait any longer. I know uh, I'm very happy to hear all the pretty horses. So let's debut it to the world, Zach. While we take a commercial break, how about that? Sounds good. You're listening to 98.7 Red Dirt Rebel, Oklahoma's home for Red Dirt exclusive interview with Zach Neal tell you this guy is awesome and i think he's my new buddy we'll be right back hey this is raven cade with 98.7 red dirt rebel oklahoma's home for red dirt and host of true grit at noon when i travel there are several things that are very very important to me when i go to a hotel customer service a great night stay and a reason to come back time and time again and i found that hotel that checks off all those boxes and that's the residence inn by marriott in oklahoma city and let me tell you it is centrally located to every place i travel throughout the city with it being at 1111 east i-240 service road right next to the amc theater and an outstanding restaurant there's no other place i'd rather be residence inn by marriott is my preferred travel hotel and with dean johnson as the general manager he and his staff excel at taking care of me time and time again so when you need your next hotel in oklahoma city make sure you check out the residence and south at 1111 south i-240 service road book right now by going to marriott.com slash okcri hey it's ray vacay with 987 red dirt rebel and i want you to be able to go to more shows more events this year and also have a way to request songs and stay in the loop with everything going on here at the rebel that number is 580-370-7559 that number one more time 580-370-7559 all the pretty horses that she used to love Tore through the fences Cause they had to run Like they're born to do They got wilder the tighter that I held the reins And there's some desires a man will never tame And to tell the truth Meant to be free Or stop a restless heart Out there chasing what it needs You just let them go Cause you know they're not yours anymore And they never were All the pretty horses She was gone for good So they chased off after her The way I wish I could Yeah, I wish I could But you can't hold back a spirit Meant to be free Or stop a restless heart Out there chasing what it means You just let them go Cause you know Pretty horses and her. No, you can't hold back spirit 
out and reach to his heart Out there chasing what he needs You just let him go Cause you know they're not yours anymore And they never were All the pretty horses and her All the pretty horses And we're back with 98.7 Red Dirt Rebel, Oklahoma's home for Red Dirt. My new best friend and cowboy, Zach Neal's on the line with me. Yep, I just said it. I hope he agrees with me. Uh, <laughs> we, I do. I do. <laughs> well, good. Thank you, buddy. Uh, we just got to listen to All Pretty Horses. Now, just real quick, you don't have to take you know, too much time. I know you're busy. How did that song come about? Well, you know, we got an Oklahoma connection on that song. Okay. Uh, I wrote that with a, a, a good friend of mine named, this is his real name, I swear. His real name is Wyatt Earp. That's his real name. Well, right he's on. From, he's from Stillwater, Oklahoma. He's, a still, he's an Oki. He's an Oki. Okay. And, uh, and he's, a, he's a great writer, uh, just, a, just an awesome writer. We've known each other for years. And what's funny is we've known each other for years, but we hadn't really written a whole lot. And uh, we had written one song. And you know, and it was it was an okay song, but uh, anyway, kind of it was during all the COVID stuff that was happening, and I just reached out to him. He said, "Yeah, man," and he goes, "You got an idea for a song?" I said, "Well, I've got this opening line, and all the pretty horses was never meant to be the hood of the title of the song. That wasn't okay. really the plan, but I just had this line. That's the first line of the song: all the pretty horses that she used to love." And oh, I thought, that's yeah. a cool line to get into a song, but I had no idea what to do with it. You know? Oh yeah, and I. So I told him, I said, well, what, I got this line. And he and he immediately, as soon as I said that line, he immediately spit back right at me the next two lines of that verse. And just wow. like that, it was the, the first verse was done. And, you know, when you're writing songs, when something comes that easy, you, you don't fight it. You just go, okay, moving mm-hmm. on. And probably about, uh, I don't know, 45, well, maybe an hour. About an hour later, we had the song done. Wow. And, uh, you know, and I just, I loved it. And it was one of those songs, I loved it, but I didn't really know what to do with it. I was like, man, I love this song. Just, you know, took several months and kind of was thinking about what we could do with it. And finally, I think, uh, I think we got in and I think we cut it the right way. I I love how it turned out. Oh, yeah, it turned out really good, boss. I really love the fact that now I need to put this on my checklist that I need to meet you and Wyatt Earp. Yes. (laughs) Yes. <laughs> well, the, the, uh, here's a little bit of trivia that really has nothing to do with the song. Okay. But he is actually related to the Wyatt Earp, you know, way down the line. Right on. But what's funny is that in the movie Tombstone, yes, sir, they paid him to sit on the set of the movie Tombstone for several months because they wanted to have uh, like a family member of you know the Wyatt Earp on the set. Oh, that's and awesome. And what's funny is that, you know, he's like, man, he goes, they'd ask me, is it, did this really happen? And she's like, well, I wasn't there. I don't know. <laughs> you know, he's like, I don't really know how it happened. It's kind of, you know, the legend. You know how it happens. The, the story probably has grown over time. Of and, course. And so he was just laughing because he's like, you know, uh, Kurt Russell would come over and be like, now, hey, did this, is, this, is this how he would have done it? And he's like, uh, yeah, probably. I don't know. <laughs> he's like, I wasn't there. I wasn't even born, you know. You know, so but because of that, it's really fun. It, we had a great time writing that song because you got to hear all these cool stories like that from oh. him. So he's a really cool, really cool cat. Right on. Well, here's my little caveat to that. But Tombstone is like should be a rite of passage. I think. I think when you get a certain age, you need to watch that movie so you kind of learn uh, how to overcome adversity and how to recover and be better later. That's just there's my PSA for the day. Well, yeah, I tell you what, I mean, it's it, it's just, it's one of those movies when I, if you're, you know, watching TV, you know, there's several movies that you're scrolling through and every time they're on, you stop and watch them. And that, Absolutely. for me, Tombstone is one of those movies. You yes, know? sir. Yes, sir. All right. Well, Zach, g- good talk to you on that, man. And good talking to you today. This has been an amazing interview. I love meeting and talking to artists and finding things that are quirky things that that we can identify with and even if we don't have things to identify with uh good folks just to talk to and in general and you've been one of those gentlemen for me today so i really 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 appreciate that before i let you go because i know you're busy uh 
tell the people how to get a hold of you. You know, all the dot coms, all the social media suspects. Hit us with it. Yes. So the best way is ZachNeilMusic.com. Or you can go to Facebook and my Facebook music page or Instagram. Both of those of those are at Zach Neil Music and Z A C H N E I L Music. Uh, that's the best way that uh, you can get a hold of me. And all the all the tour dates are on the website. And of course, on the socials, we post about you know shows coming up on the socials too. And of course, anywhere you download and stream your music, we are there. So I hope you'll go check it out. All right. Well, you know you got me checking it out regardless. So I just hope everybody that's listening does the same as well. But thank you very much, Zach, again for your time. And uh, keep on writing those tunes, buddy. And find old Wired every once in a while to uh, lend Uh a hand. (laughs) (laughs) I think we ought to write another one after this one. But thanks for having me, Raven. All right. Well, you've been listening to 98.7 Red Dirt Rebel exclusive interview with Zach Neal. Make sure you check him out on all his social suspects. And make sure you're listening to The Rebel for all of his songs we got him covered and uh, a lot of great music real country music you're gonna find right here for oklahoma's home for country red dirt true grit and a little outlaw this is 98.7 red dirt rebel we'll be right back